All right, I'm back. And I'm going to go for some solo gathering in the black zone. The thing is just that the resources are even cheaper than the last time I've been gathering. So I'm only going to take 6.1 resources. I'm not going to take tier 7 resources from wood and stone and ore. They are simply not worth too much and I don't have a lot of carry weight with this build since everything is so insanely cheap. I'm going to go with the bow of Badon actually. Some very easy to play gear since I am out for a while now. I still need two journals. That's... Uh, how is it called? Stone cutting? Yes. Going to take a tier 7 journal with me. And I still need ore, I think. How is that called? Prospector. Master Prospector. Since I don't have too much carry weight, I'm only going to take two Satisfied. journals. And I'm also going to go into the mists and stuff where having some fighting gear may come in handy as well. I'm going to see what I can get. I'm in Limhurst. I'm going to try to go to the northeast here. Close to Fort Sterling. And if I manage to go there this far with this little carry weight. Then I'm also going to go to Fort Sterling and bind myself there. Like the resource prices are really insane. Insanely low. Going to take the Fort Sterling Cape and Invisibility Potions for the Black Zone. And maybe the roads. Maybe I'll go into the roads as well. Possible. And for the Mists of Avalon, I'm going to take the Thetford Cape and the Healing Potions. I'm really curious to see what I'm going to see this run. Let's see. Um, which way do I want to go? Northeast? No, I want to go southeast. To get to these very deep high level black zone maps. Maybe I can find some resources in there. I'm not sure how actively I should be looking at roads actually. The last run that I had, which is already some time ago, I didn't find too much stuff in the roads. Also, this gear is of course kind of nice to kill some tier 3 and tier 2 mobs that I can find in the black zone. These people that were running next to me did look like gankers. Looked like they had fiend ropes. I said that I would gather 6.1 resources, but not wood. <laughs> not wood and not stone. Um, here I want to go to the northeast. This is already a tier 7 map. And this is a 6.1 mob. There is some um, tier 7. Or there's a person. Is this person looking at me? It doesn't seem like that's the case. He's kind of looking at me. That's not nice. The road spot is very far away, but he lost sight of me. Which is always pretty nice, but I'm very far away from exits right here. Kind of want to look at the height. 2.2k per piece. 
prices have dropped so low. Just so insane. Six point one fiber, six point one ore, and six point one hide. This stuff that I'm going to get. Also, I'm going to take tier seven. going to take tier 7 fiber and tier 7 hide let's quickly regain my health before I do this mob Should be fairly easy, like I'm using tier 9 gear. <laughs> Simply because I should be reasonably safe with this mount in the black zone and my Fort Sterling Cape. Fort Sterling Cape and my mount. No book, sadly. But 11k silver. I didn't look at the fame, but probably like 50k fame. 60k fame. Tier 2 mob in a tier 7 map. Okay. Northeast. Tier 8 map. Most likely empty. At least it has been empty in the past. But who knows? Who knows? I could find anything. I mean, I also could find some 5.3 in this random garbage map that I have to go through. I also could find some nice tier 3 mobs. Or some... Uh, what What were the chances? It, do I want to stay in a tier 7 map? Is it possible to get a tier 7 map from an uncommon one? I think so. Tier 6, so I'm getting out. Uh, one thing that's new is that the epic ones are definitely tier 7 or tier 8 and the legendary ones are definitely tier 8 now. Which is very nice. If I find one, I may get some nice loot from gathering. In a very reasonable time. Even though the prices have dropped so dramatically. But, but it's really, really heavy. Like, it's really rough. Having such low prices... Definitely... Cutting down on the possible profits per time... That are possible to have, to make. How valuable is this? This is 1k... Uh, well, that's probably just as valuable as 6.1 wood. So I probably don't want to take this. It's worth above 1k per piece. Hmm. I'll take a look at 6.1 6 wood. <laughs> If it's worth above 1k, I'll probably take it. Let's see if I find some. I'm... In most cases, not going to go for big stacks, of course. My gear is worse for escaping now compared to when running around with gathering gear. So I could even die if I have a roads portal or a normal exit very close to me. 
So another uncommon wisp. If I only would, I probably didn't even look. Like when I was looking at the patch notes, I probably didn't even look at uncommon. It's a tier 7 map. Time to gather some tier 7 resources. Mainly fiber and hide. Let's see if I can find some. And let's put this stuff on and I have to remember to eat my food before engaging into PvP. Hopefully I will not fail too much. <coughs> didn't play for very long. I uh, didn't play for a rather long time, so... There's definitely some potential for me to fail. In the PvP situation. The two mob should be worth it, I believe. Even in the mists, which are of course uh, worse than the black zone, but the high tier mobs are not really much worse. Only the normal stuff. Damn. Also getting used to looking at the border of my screen the whole time. Sixty K fame, forty K silver. It's not worse than the black zone. I mean it's also slightly enchanted. Okay, I wanted to look at six point one wood. What's the price? One K one K and fifty silver. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll, I will take it, I will take it, wait a second, that's just a tier 6 wolf, but I want the tier 7 stuff, how valuable is tier 6, okay, so I'll, I'll take a uh, tier 6 hide as well then. Only one piece. Which is pretty normal for the mists. Basically need to find the resource mobs. <laughs> Tier 5. Didn't see a single player yet. Anything nice? Nope. There is some Tier 7. But it is so cheap and it is way heavier than the tier 6 resources. And it takes longer to gather it. So I'm not going to take it with the gallant horse. If I had a mount with carry weight I would have gathered that. I am finding some stuff. I'm getting a little bit. Okay, actually I need to take a look at how valuable this is. 1.8k. <laughs> but I'm not sure if I should be looking into uncommon wisps. Ah, this here is what I'm looking for. Because it is going to be full. Also, I'm gathering it way quicker. Still not seeing people. There's a person. He's doable, he's no problem. But I cannot kill him. Unless he fails. Unless he fails, I have 1400 IP on average on my items. Just a common wisp. There's a person running around. 
round. He really didn't seem to care too much. Let's look at what he's playing. He's playing claws. Should be doable. Yeah, not too. Not too high IP. This is E now on cooldown. Well, he's definitely dead. 270k. Yes. Well, I'm going to take this while the armor is not worth anything. 9k. Hmm. But uh, that's some nice additional money. I did change my food, I want to change back. Before continuing together. That's one of the positive things uh, when going with this style, I would say. You can kill all the newer or weaker players in the mists. Mm -mm -mm. But for that, uh, you have to be good at PvP. Well, I wanted to change, but I wanted to change my food. It was only one piece. And I may get into another PvP situation before finding my next resource. One of these weird things is spawning, but I don't think that I want to actually contest these objectives here. I am actually not that strong. He mounted up. There was a dismounted person. Mm. More resources please. So I am actually seeing some people in here. I was just wondering about my carry weight, but that's just because like it went up to 50% from 27, but that's just because I switched to my fighting food. Resources, resources. I would like to see one of these weird, rare mobs that drop the fee scales or however you pronounce that. I would like to see that. I'm not finding too many resources anymore. <coughs> Where are the resources? Another suicidal player would also be some nice loot. Six point two, that's a resource. But it's probably only going to have one piece, right? Yeah. But I'm still going to change to pork pie. It is so cheap. I'm uh, worth a lot, by the way. I'm worth like 2.6 or 2.7 million. Tier 9 gear. Except the boots, because boots don't matter. And gallant horse and gathering tools. Not cheap. In total. Which is one of the reasons why I don't really want to be fighting too much in situations where people know that people may be fighting there. I'm hearing fighting noises, I believe. That's 
a tier 6 mob. Going to take that. It's 5 out of 5. Isn't that always the case? Does this count as a resource mob? Maybe it does. It is possible. Okay, I'm almost through with the whole map. I've almost checked out the whole mist here. I mean, I haven't been very... Uh, how do you say this? I haven't checked every corner. There's a person, there's another person. Oh, there's a spider. That's the reason why people are here. This person here is very annoying to fight against. Do I want to do stuff here? Probably. Probably, I think. I don't want to get minion aggro though. Oh, I missed my E, otherwise I could have dismounted him. He would not have been too valuable. I heard that here in the mists. Okay, do I want to kill one of these guys? How strong is this guy? How strong is that guy? That's this guy. He is full HP and he has gloves. Do I want to go for the spider? How much damage does it do? I actually don't know. But I am very expensive so I probably don't want to deal with this. That's a tier 6 mob. But I can look at, it, at this situation again. And see what's going on. Somebody picked up silver. This is what I saw in my chat. Still juggling the spider. Somebody is dismounted. That's just a common one. this guy going to be able to get out of here? I don't think so. I have my jump up. Oh, and here's some... He gave a lot of fame. I don't know what's valuable. So let's just take most of it. 15k, yeah, the rest should be valuable as well. And then I'm going to switch to my gathering tool. Alright, two kills. And they were not cheap. They did give me some money. Oh, I wanted to switch my food. Whoops. There's even two pieces. Somebody saw me gathering here. Will this guy gank me with invisibility? And if he does, do I just win the 1v1? I do have tier 9 gear. Wait, was the spider finished? Did people finish the spider? I don't remember exactly where it was. It was here, okay. Uh, don't really want to take these things. 2 minutes 20, the 
Mist is closing. Hm. Hm, hm, hm. Fifty-five percent carry weight with pork pie. Well, the mounts are very heavy, even though I only got one. Any resources waiting for me here still? Or maybe a good wisp? Maybe some random legendary wisp? <coughs> Doesn't look like it. So I'm just going to leave. But uh, going into the mist was pretty fine. Like these two kills. Oh, I missed the exit. The two kills and a little bit of tier 7 stuff. Wasn't terrible. Oh, I need to switch to my Fort Sterling cape. And my invisibility potions. Bam, bam. And I'm definitely not going to switch to fighting food here on the outside. There's a big stack. 5.1 ore. That's crazy. Okay, tier 7 map in front of me. There are people with escaping gear. I want to go to the northwest, continuing my way towards Fort Sterling. <laughs> Having this little carry weight really sucks. That's really annoying. But I, but I can also still change my boots to carry weight. Can't forget about this. Carry weight on boots plus pork pie should be pretty solid. Any tier 3 mobs? Perhaps. Roads portal. Do I want to look at it? Do I want to look at the resources and the roads? This is just a common wisp, sadly. It had a blue, like, tail. You know what I mean? It would have been rare, imagine. I don't remember if it can be a tier 8 map as well. When having a rare ones. The roads portal is 0 out of 7. I want to go to the northeast. This map... Doesn't look very friendly. And the ways I need to go are really not optimal. I do have this broken. For a moment it looked like it was 6.1 fiber there. But I was deceived. Mm -mm -mm. I still got this broken horse with this insane ability. But that doesn't make me invulnerable forever. Still need to look at my positioning. Still need to look at possible escape routes. This guy just had a tier 3 horse. So I'm not going to pay too much attention to him. It's kind of annoying that he was following me for a moment. Because I wanted to take the 5.2 fiber and the tier 6 side. But I'm not going to stay there. Northwest, the only possibility. Into another tier 7 swamp. Was rather empty there, the tier 7 swamp and also the tier 8 forest. I didn't look into the corners, but still. 
I simply don't expect them to be full. So I don't think I should spend too much time on these maps there. The maps that I'm slowly reaching now may be different though. It is possible that there are resources, but it's also possible that there are strong ganking groups. Because there are multiple tier 7 maps plus a tier 8 map. Which is definitely, and also another tier 8 map. Like, rather, rather packed. A rather juicy area here. Like tier 7, tier 8, tier 7, tier 8, tier 7. Pretty juicy. And also some tier 7 here. So it can definitely happen to run into some ganking groups here. 7.1. 8 out of 9. I like it. <clears throat> Right now I'm thinking about if I want to play the knockback on my helmet. Maybe I should do that in the black zone. But the helmet on damage really helps with doing PvE. But most of the time I'm not going to do PvE. I'm only going to take tier, uh, tier 2 and tier 3 mobs. But maybe I'll randomly want to kill somebody. I don't know. Hmm. I'll stay on damage. I'll stay on the damage side of life. Uh, the rest looks pretty empty here. Some 6.1. Yeah, pretty empty. So it was just rather lucky. I would assume to find the Oh, let's see how many pieces. Seven out of nine. This is really juicy. This is actually some money. Like above 5k from the 7.1. And 3k from the wood, 7.1. Those are numbers. That's something you can make profit with from gathering. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Weird. But hard to find as well, that pig there. I thought about killing the swamp dragon, but there was a skeleton very close to it. Weird map. I think I was just lucky. I saw so many empty things. I'm not... S and all the tier 6 resources on one piece only. Or completely taken. It's not. He came from the northeast, so I'm going to go to the roads. He's also looking in a rather suspicious way at me. There's another player, same alliance. Not good. I don't map high stone plateau. The amounts seem to be faster than mine. I definitely need to go to high stone plateau. The high dot map could be a problem. It's very interesting that they had one person in the roads before me. Am I faster than the guy in front of me? That would be very weird. Do 
they have more people? I was a bit surprised that they had one person in the roads because one of these people came out of the tier 8 desert. I do think that I don't... that I should not come back. I don't think I can come back there, sadly. Where am I now? I'm... In Martlock. And this is a 6.1 stack. Um... Um... So I'm going to take one round. A round? Oh, there's a tier 3 mob. Do I want to switch my spells for that? I definitely want a better positioning. Here I'm going to have more space. Need to dodge every single spell. to get hit by anything. Dealing a lot of damage and I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm going to use my boots once for the regeneration. Ten seconds for my E. Dodge. Whoa! What? What was this damage? Why did he deal so much damage? Ugh. Imagine somebody coming by now. <coughs> now it would be too late. I'm going to switch my spells and even my potions. And just go... Uh, my W was not useful. I'm going to go and use all my stuff. Because it's still worth it. Like this thing is so valuable. This guy is so valuable. So I need to dodge everything. I'm using tier 9 gear, it's pretty insane that I wasn't able to do this. Now that I've taken some damage, I'm going to use my boots. They become harder, or am I just using such a bad build for PvE? Like both Badon, of course, is not very good in PvE. Six, 60k silver. How valuable is the cape? 14k. Pretty nice. Let's switch back. Okay. <laughs> um. Three minutes for the chest. I'm not going to wait for this. I'm going to look. Uh, should I should I take the whole the whole way? Maybe. How much does the teleporting cost? 170k. It's not that insanely expensive, but it's somewhat expensive. And the further I get away, the more expensive it will get. Because I'm pretty close right now to Martlock. 
4.2 or that is very uh, light this doesn't have too much carry weight I gather it insanely quickly let's take it let's take it 4.2 or should still be worth like almost almost like 1k it's probably at like 800 silver per piece or something how valuable is it 660 and it's very light i'm going to take this this is worth it and i don't think that strong groups would gank this right oh i need to eat my food very important. I gather it extremely quickly, it is very light. And it has some reasonable value. Four point two or four point two height should be good. Not sure about the other resources. Oh a tier two mob and another one. Let's see how much I got. 30k. <laughs> That's not much money. Here. Ah, is this worth it? I'm actually not sure. Oh, I don't have my damage on my helmet. Should be fine though, right? Yeah. Should be fine. Let's see how much this thing gives. 40k and a book. And 1000 silver? No, 7000 silver. Probably worth it. Probably worth it. I do still need a lot of fame for my bow of Adorn. And if I'm lucky, I'm going to get one more book. Probably like a 50 50 chance. Or tier 2 mobs in a tier 5 net. percent carry weight but I can still change my boots soon I will have to do so dirty tier 5 maps is this more valuable oh it's 1.5 and it is not as heavy as a tier 6 resource. So definitely worth it to take 5.2 or and most likely 5.2 height and fiber. Probably would as well with this kind of style that I'm going for now, right now at least. So this is going to be a tier 7 map again. There's a nice roads portal, making this way rather safe. Tier 8 map coming up. Let's see if I can get some resources. And then I kind of want to get closer to town. Sadly, I'm obviously not going to be able to go to... Fox Sterling this way. Just common wisps. Three out of five. Or it's not as insane as it has been somewhere in the past. But it should still be kind of okay. Somebody was killed in the east of the roads portal. 
This guy is interested in me. That's annoying. But not very interested. Interestingly. Tier 8 snow map. Let's see. Oh god. Three big stacks. I mean, okay, they can be bad nowadays. Seven zero eight zero eight four. Ah, okay, that's still not up. But the eight point zero stack is good. I am not going to go for it. So there are uh, basically only two big stacks in this map right now. And only one of them is valuable. So maybe this map is not that dangerous. Not as dangerous as I thought in the first moment. I mean, I'm not going the optimal way. But I don't think I want to go close to the stacks when there are absolutely no possibilities to get out of there. Do I want to look for good roads portals in terms of... being able to travel quickly to a very... Very cheap teleporting map, if you know what I mean. Maybe I want to do that. I'm I'm going to check roads portals. I think. I think I'll do that. There's the first. I want to look four out of seven. Okay. So most five point one or. Most likely this roads map is not worth to check for resources. Just looking for a very comfortable way to get back home. So I don't have to pay 300k. Oh, the big stack. Somehow I managed to run right next to it. I also have some space issues. An uncommon wisp. Let's check. Tier 7 map. Tier 7 map. Okay. And an unstable roads portal. I want to switch my stuff. I don't know if I can change my food. I can if I change my boots. Boots over food. Uh, I mean food over boots. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Second try. Give me some rare crazy mobs that gives me these rare items that you need for crafting mm -hmm. some fiber that's fine <clears throat> Maybe I'll get one more kill. That is possible. So many mobs here. Tier 7, tier 7, tier 7.
Hmm, where am I finding more resources? In the tier 7 mist or in the black zone? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Somewhat empty so far, but that's pretty normal. This has always been my experience in the mist. That's nice. Definitely having space issues. 2.7k per piece. Those are solid numbers. But it, it feels like I'm finding more in the mist. Definitely feels like I'm finding more stuff in the mist. Probably tier 7 mists are always worth it as a gatherer, especially with gathering gear. With gathering gear you would miss out on all these rather weak players that enter the mists. Hmm. I don't, don't know if that's a problem. Because they should not be that value every time. I feel like I was a little bit lucky getting people that were worth more than 100k. One even being worth, what was it, 250k? I think that was lucky. Mm -mm -mm. Like this I don't really want to gather all these tier 7 resources. Even though all of them are going to be on like one or two pieces only. But still. Also all the tier 7 resources that I saw in the black zone. That's more of a concern. With this style. Never really getting much from these generic normal stacks. In the mists. I don't know why that's the case. Probably because somebody's gathering them? But I'm not so sure about that. This guy dismounted. Other guy dismount as well. No. Or maybe. <clears throat> maybe. He didn't actually dismount. And I was just having hallucinations. But they were riding in a very weird way. I was looking very weird. Maybe the one guy was chasing hard. It's kind of sad not to take these. But it's so much carry weight for not a lot of value. This guy is definitely worth some money. He didn't see what mount he had. Wait, there's a spider. Is this doable or does it do too much damage? Does it do too much damage? I don't know. Let's try. 
Really dodgeable. I don't do a lot of damage. Definitely should eat my food for this. Would be kind of annoying to die because of trying that. And people would see on the minimap that it's moving. It's probably a bad idea to do this, but I kind of want to do it. <laughs> Cannot dodge that. I do want to use my boots for the movements, uh, for the heal. There's a person. Person, but okay, which means I'm not going to do it. Oh, there's a bear, that's really nice. And it's even enchanted, and it's going to be full, which is really nice, really good. But it's kind of sad about the spider. But it's better that I'm not doing it, to be honest. I really should not do spiders when I'm worth so much money. This really doesn't make sense. It's definitely doable, the spider. But it doesn't make sense to do it too risky. Everybody is going to gank this. Everybody who's dangerous. Dangerous people can definitely kill me when I don't have cooldowns. Seven point one hide. Not insanely valuable, but pretty valuable. Okay, let's see. Somebody doing the spider? Nope. I don't think I have checked out the northwest. Uh, where have I been already? I don't remember. The sky is being a little bit mentally soft, chasing me for no reason. Oh, this guy is so weak, I could kill him. But it takes so long to get cooldowns when he's so close. There's another dismounted person. That's crazy. Are they playing together? One more dismounted person. Really looks like they are playing together. Oh no. Now they are fighting each other. Why is this person regenerating so much health? Huh? They weren't fighting each other? And again he had his... Reflect? What? I don't understand. I don't understand. Holy shit. I didn't get hit, so I should regenerate my health now. Yeah. Okay, I'm fine. 
Oh my god! I accidentally clicked on this. But I should be fine. I should be fine, I have more mobility. Holy shit, accidentally clicking on this thing. Oh. This was really making me mad. Here are two wolves. Wolves are nice. There was a 7.1 resource up there. I'm going to gather that. That was a mob. A resource mob. Uh, where was it? Here it is. Nice. The reflect was really bad for me. But... But I also played it badly. If I didn't... He still has a seal on his armor. I don't have more pork pie left. So I cannot switch my food anymore. Mm, mm. The reflect... I think the reflect is too annoying actually. I probably should not fight against that then. Should I? It is kind of weird. I think I should be winning against the tier 7 guy with these items. I think I should be winning. But I'm all, of course also not good with this build. I, n I never play the bow of Badon. And I never did in the past. So... There was some... Uh, some weird fighting animation at that weak guy who was doing PvE there. So maybe this was some kind of special mod. Oh, Run away. Run together. So maybe there was uh, some special fee scale mob there. Maybe I shouldn't have gone so far away. Let's take a look. It. Was was here in the west, but maybe he already killed it. Whatever it was, or maybe it was just his armor or something. Who knows? Who knows? But. It looks like it's time to get out of here. The seven. Nine out of nine. I already have my boots on carry weight. If I split my poison and my E up to not push push all my damage into his reflex then the fight would definitely look different but he still has his armor it really didn't look too good for me and of course I'm not really tanky and I don't really have anything else in this kit Mm, I'm going to go for the northeastern exit so I can check out this corner here for resources and potentially legendary wisps. <laughs> this did not look too good. Don't want to pull all these other mobs. Not interested. Not interested. <laughs> Time to get out of this. A tier two mob. I'm going to take that.
going to use my boots for some help. Because this one is actually dealing a lot of damage. Oh, three seconds only. Shit. Ah. Uh, did I did I lose? Did I lose durability on my items now? Did I lose durability on my items now? Because of that? I mean, if that's the case, then I didn't lose too much, obviously. 4.2 or again. I'm not going to greed. Is it is it greed in this map? Is it greed in this map to go for the 4.2 or? I don't know. It's a, some quick 30k. Meh. Meh. Okay, give me a good one. Uh, giant world woods. I, I don't think that's that good. Uh, maybe it is. Ah, what is this? No, no, it's not that good. For teleporting back. Mm, I'm going to go backwards. I am going to go backwards. There's a big circle. Actually, I don't have too much time anymore. But teleporting from here would be pretty rough. Ah. I'm going to teleport. I don't have time left anymore. <laughs> Killing this tier 7 demonic death guy would have been very nice. But this really didn't look too good. Even if I d wouldn't put all my damage into this reflect, I don't think this would look good. I don't know. I don't know. Loot. Oh, there is still some stuff in here. Okay. Oh. This. I did kill one book. Because of the teleporting cost, my 280k went away. I was running around for about one hour and got 1.3 million. And without the kills, I would have even gotten less. Rough times for a gatherer. <laughs> 